Hi everyone, so let me share with you some tips and tricks for faster cooking during weekdays because you are going to do this work whenever you have time. Let's get started. So we are going to learn how to freeze potatoes and tomatoes. For tomatoes, you have two techniques. First one is to wash it, dry it and remove any soft ones. And then you are going to freeze the whole tomatoes just like this. And that's what I have used in my recipe. And the second one is blanching method. But first of all, we are going to start with our potatoes. So whenever you do blanching, you start with hard vegetables. So here I'm blanching my potatoes and I'll be blanching it for five minutes. And I did not add any salt. The reason why I didn't do it is that whenever you make any mistake in your kitchen, for instance, if your curry is turning, you know, salty or spicy, that's when you are going to use this blanched potatoes because you don't need to do any cooking because it, only time it happens when you are rushing or doing anything else. So this technique saves your time. You just place potatoes in your curry or something and it will absorb all the salt or any spiciness. So that's why I like to blanch my potato or I can use it even curry too. This is what I today I have used it in my curry and I'm going to show you towards the end. So now I have blanched it for 5 minutes and after 5 minutes I'm going to take the ice cold water and stop the cooking process make sure you do that that's the only way you can stop the cooking process we don't want to boil our potato until they are completely cooked we want to partially cook them and let it cool down so while they are cooling down we are going to blanch our tomatoes because what happens during the weekdays that sometimes you don't have time to wash vegetables and we don't have time to grind everything so we just do everything in one shot means blanch our tomatoes and potatoes at the same time this way our chopping and everything is done cleaning part is done so now i'm going to remove my potato from the ice cold water and then i'll keep them in the ziploc bag later on once the water is draining so over here i am blanching my tomatoes you see that the skin is coming off that's when you know your tomatoes are done so now put them in an ice cold bucket and from there once it's cooled down you're going to strain it and then remove the skin and then you are going to place them in the container so i'm going to use my hand blender to blend it and then boil it one more time so the rawness is gone from my tomato so whenever i need to use it i just need to cook them for two to three minutes not more than that because right now i'm cooking it well enough to reduce the sourness and so while making my tomato sauce i haven't added anything because as i said earlier that you can use tomatoes and potatoes in your gravy to cook anything or you can use it to reduce the saltiness now it's done so you are going to strain it or you can leave it as it is okay in my scenario i'm just going to strain it it is completely optional and look at this it's looking so thick right the, the tomato sauce so whenever you need to use it you don't have to chop anything you don't have to blanch anything you can just directly use your curry and, and it's not going to take that long to cook so now look at this I have used the portion wise so that whenever I need it I just take out ice cube tray and these are my potatoes make sure you freeze them flat this way it's easier to remove so these are my frozen potatoes that I did uh, last weekend and I am using it to make cauliflower curry and do not defrost your potatoes whenever you use it okay otherwise they are going to get soggy we don't want soggy potato use it directly when it's cold take it out from the freezer and put it in your curry directly and within 10 minutes like 5 to 10 minutes you said your potatoes are cooked and the good thing is that i didn't have to chop anything i didn't have to clean anything so this is my bonus hack about coriander leaves i have shared a dedicated video how to store coriander leaves maybe ch check it in my playlist and i am also going to share with you in, in my description box below basically you wash it dry it chop it then dry it one more time and it can keep it in the freeze that's how you can keep it longer so i hope my video was helpful to you let me know if you have any questions and concerns about my today's video thank you